Hi guys, this is Elliot from Little Pump People here, and today we are interviewing Terry from Little Boucherettes. Let's do this. Let's do this. How is your tour going? Are you ready to rock NYC? Oh my god, I hope so. So far everything's been going smoothly. No one's gotten hurt, but I'm gonna knock on wood because when you say no one's gotten hurt, that's when things start happening. <laughs> I don't know if it's witchcraft or karma or, or something interfering with the, with the outer force of Earth. <laughs> I have no idea what it is, but it's been going well. Hopefully, it'll st still keep going well. We're, we're eating uh, a lot of oranges to keep the vitamin C levels up high. And um, what else? Let's see. Yeah, so far I can't complain. Everything's been, everyone's been sweet. And, 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 and I thank God, but when I mean God, I mean the earth, that everyone's been nice because I've, I've seen things where people even get stabbed outside of shows. It's, yeah, but that's a whole other story. See, I told you I could rant. <laughs> when you were my age, did you ever think you'd become so successful in music? Oh my gosh, when I was your age, um, I would... That's actually the age that I started singing in the showers because I was really obsessed with this band called the Spice Girls and everything that they would do was in my eyes, just eye candy. It was delicious and their voices were uh, resembled. I, I related to their, to their stories basically. And, and in the shower at 11, I was like, girl power, Sing, using the, the shampoo bar as a microphone. <laughs> But I never would have imagined that I would be playing rock music and, 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 and being able to, to travel with, with, with this. Because it's really just an excuse to travel, you know, travel, uh, you get to meet people and see, of all, of all walks, of walks of life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> see, the nerves, the nerves make me do this. <laughs> what do you do if you, if you get nervous before a show? When my dad, when my dad's nervous, he, the um, diarrheas. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, before, I get that feeling too, before going to a show, I swear it, it happens. And, and, and I guess the only reason, the way to stop it is just to try to count to 10 really slowly. And if you forget the numbers, start all over. But yeah, the urge, the, that urge is always there. I, I, I don't know why, but it, it's very, I guess it's very animalistic. It's, the, I guess, the basis, basic instincts of a human. If they fear something, first inst instinct is to drop, to drop, <laughs> drop the, the, the drop, hummus. Drop the deuce. <laughs> yeah, drop the deuce. Exactly. Couldn't have said it better. <laughs> drop the deuce. <laughs> <laughs> Your song La La Yuva La Yuva is really cool. Oh, um, thank you. It, my dad, I like it because my dad told me that you said like it reminds you of like being like a great being able to be like crushed like by that's why I feel like in school sometimes like when I'm you know sad or feeling down so. Thank you for making that song. Oh, thank you so much. Thank you, Elliot. Um, wow, that really made my night, what you just said right there. Yeah, because school, that's one of the places where, where I'm not putting down school, but, oh, okay. But, but, <laughs> but sometimes it's, it's hard, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, that's where I was bullied most of my life, school. But it gives you character. It, it's, hey, they're doing us a favor. They're just giving us more ammunition to, to want to, in a met metaphorical sense, to want to take it out on our art, like what you're doing, for example. It, they only want to make you do what you do even better, just because success is the best revenge. And yeah. That's right. <laughs> if you were able to meet Donald Trump, what would you, what would you say to him? Oh my gosh, what would I say to him? He, he honestly doesn't even deserve to speak to me. I would not say anything to him. He doesn't deserve to, to hear my voice. But with that being said, I would ask him a question. How do you sleep at night? And he'd probably say, with money. <laughs> he'd probably, probably have a good time with them. <laughs> he's just, he's really mean. You know what I think though? I think he plays into that character because he sees he's getting a reaction from his reactions. So he's like, oh, okay, I'm a businessman. He has that businessman mentality. So I'm just gonna keep playing this character just to keep getting that response and agitate people. So I think he kind of feeds off of people getting mad at him. 
I think that's why it's just better to laugh at him. It's, it's, it's really just a joke. He's becoming this big joke. And, well, he's always been one, but but it, it, it says a lot more about the people that truly think that it's, that believe in him and that think he's not a farce and that what he's saying is completely true. That's, that's outrageous. You can't have two extremes. Yeah. I agree. What was it like when you first moved to Mexico when you were younger? Oh, I'm not, I'm not going to lie. I hated it because my whole world was my father and my mother. And, and he, that's the reason why we moved back to Mexico because he passed away. And um, so I hated it because I was leaving all my friends behind. Well, the friends that didn't bully me. <laughs> and, uh, and starting from scratch, we sold everything. All, his, all my father's belongings had to be... It were thrown away basically because we couldn't. We had to take a luggage per person on the airplane. So I hated that because I felt like I was leaving him behind me. But it's quite the opposite. We were taking him with us because he lives within us and our memories. And and plus, my father loved Mexico because that's where we're all from. He I, he would have been really happy that we went back to our roots, which is really essential for someone to know about their themselves. You have to know more, a little more about your, your where your parents, your parents' stories, uh, where they came from, grandparents, and it, it, if anything, it, it it made me now much more prouder to be who I am. That big move. I just had some nachos with with garlic and onion. I'm so sorry. I'm I'm giving you all that. All that grease, that, <laughs> that air grease. <laughs> so you're almost on, I you're smell breathing. It. You don't? Okay. Thank God. Okay, good. You're so sweet. Oh my gosh. That's so good. To know. What do you hope happens when we all die? Oh my God. That's that's a question I ask myself every night. I'm not exaggerating. If, if not every night, every minute. And that's why I'm, I'm always counting from one to ten to calm myself down or play music. You have to, yeah, right. It's all the time we're gonna die. Why we? Yeah, every, every we're gonna like all this. We were at the airport or in traffic. I look at everyone around me. I'm like, wow. In a hundred years, no, no one's gonna be here. But I, I truly think that's where the the spiritualist in me comes and says that there must be something. I don't know what, but that happens with our energy, with our spirits, or there must be where we all recollect and become one, or become a million of pieces. I just think that the universe is too big, or the multiverse, where you keep zooming out and you keep seeing these these uh, spirals of galaxies. There has to be something where our energy goes to a place. We might not be Elliot and Terry, but we'll still be there forever. I think in that black mass of space. Like a like a heaven or like some something beautiful, I think something that's much greater than heaven. Yeah. Mm. Who knows? Yeah. That's the beauty that we'll never know until we know. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now we have a few fun questions. Oh, that's so much fun. Playing pi- playing piano or playing guitar? Right now, uh, piano. Why not? The red in the walls, the red in my cloth. A big red piano would do me well right now. You know, smash on those keys. <laughs> the stars at night or the sun during the day? Oh, the stars at night. Yeah, because it just reminds me of how small we are. But at the same time, it's okay. It's okay. It doesn't matter how small you are. It's still good to enjoy yourself in the present. Yeah, the yeah. stars. Stars. I agree. Playing a concert in heaven or hell? You know what? A concert I'll play in hell. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's crazy. Like the lava. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. It goes in very well. And I guess yeah. it might just even inspire you to give it your all even more. So you won't stay trapped in there. That maybe if you do a great concert, the devil or whoever's in charge will be like, okay, you can, you can come back later. Get out now. So, yeah. <laughs> Red or black? Oh my, I guess red because it's technically a, more of a color than black is. Yeah. Would you rather live on an unknown planet in space or planet Earth? Oh my lord, that's such a good question. I guess right now in, in, in my time in, in life, I, I'll stay in planet Earth because I have too many loved ones I don't want to leave them behind. Or can I take them with me? You can take them with you. 
see that but then I'll, that, that there's that death thing then I'll be scared and thinking that they'll die in that other planet because most of my friends don't they're not really good with moving around and they, they don't they don't even like leaving their home how am I going to get them out of the, the planet so maybe I'll, yeah I'm, <laughs> I'm just going to stay here I want to stay here what about you <laughs> oh no um just plain earth yeah right yeah. we have more than enough here we have we have delicious water food and again, parents, nature, nature, home, music, oh, art, duh, and what else? Milk. <laughs> <laughs> Milk. Is there anything you'd like to add? I'm so, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm awkward, but <laughs> you went along with it beautifully. So I thank you. What about you? Thank you for doing the interview. Thank you for your time. It really means a lot.